All right, turning back now to the health of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She has fractured three ribs after falling last night in her office. Let's bring in CBS News chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. We want to right. mention that Dr. LaPook has not treated Justice Ginsburg. Right. Um, good to see you. Good to see you. So what are the implications of an injury like this, given her age? It's ouch, okay? The main thing is that it hurts. Mm. And you think about it, every time you take a breath, the ribs kind of go like this, they move. So 12 to 15 times a minute, you're having this pain. And, and really the big thing is that you might not take as deep a breath as you should. And if you don't do that, then the lungs don't expand the way they should. Mm. And that can lead to something like pneumonia. There are some unusual side effects. I mean, sometimes you can have a punctured lung, or depending upon how bad the fracture is, you can injure other organs. But generally, it just really hurts. Uh, and you give pain relief, you give uh, anti-inflammatory medications, Tylenol, things like that, and then you can encourage gently to take enough of a deep breath so you don't have collapse of the base of the lungs. Now, I know that generally doctors don't recommend that you try to self-diagnose, but she, I, th I guess she hurt herself and then she went home. Yeah. And does that mean that it wasn't as bad as she thought it was or it's not as bad as we might you know, think it I is? I see this all the time you because do. what happens is people fall and they hurt. Of course, the first thing you say is, it's nothing, no harm, no foul, right. I'm getting out of here. Right. Uh, but then when you get home, because of the fact that you're breathing and with every breath the ribs are moving, after a while you say, this is not going away. And then it was very smart to go ahead and get an x-ray. And this should get better. If there are no complications, right. yeah. it hurts. Yeah. It hurts for a while. Uh, and then it finally goes out with a whimper rather than a roar. Now, she uh, had hurt herself. Um, in fact, she fractured some ribs in 2012 and 2013. Right. Does that affect how the recovery process? I, I don't think so. You know, once you break a rib and it heals, that should be it, unless there's some kind of underlying problem going on, like osteoporosis or something else that we don't know that's contributing. But if you just fall and you hit the ribs and they break, they heal, and generally uh, you're pretty good. Now, uh, you have to try to... Um, I always talk to my, my patients, because I'm an internist too, about preparing your, your, your environment to make sure that you don't trip. Because, you know, things like, simple things, like the edges of the rugs curled up, you trip over that. And even figuring out how to get out of the bathtub and off the toilet seat and things like that. Are there enough night lights? There are a lot of dangers inside of a person's home that can cause them to trip and fall. Real quick, we only have a 15 seconds. Uh, recovery pro time for her, maybe? It, it should be, you know... A matter of weeks in general. It sort of goes out slowly, but within the next few days, it should feel better. And uh, hopefully, she'll recover and avoid any other, any, any other falling. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, careful. Do not fall. We don't yeah. want you breaking a hip. We certainly do not. Uh, Dr. LaPook, always good to have you, sir. Thank you.